Temptress was a song that we were kicking around almost from the beginning of the band. It would kind of come up during jam sessions or practices, and, and we'd be like, okay, that's really good, we liked it, but we kind of put it on the back burner because I think we knew that it would be a huge undertaking to actually shape it into what we knew it could be. I think there was just a little bit of like, we needed the right time the right amount of energy and headspace and all that to, to tackle that monster and we knew it was going to be epic and long and a lot of different parts and we tried so many different combinations of parts and couldn't figure it out for months and months and months. So eventually we did go through that uh, process of building the song up and finding all the textures and all the shapes. Inspired almost by instrumental bands and tracks that I that I know, um, you know, kind of Mogwai, uh, this will destroy you kind of vibe where you, you take a riff and you, and you pronounce it and you, you show it in every one of its colors. For me, that song has a dreamlike quality that I wanted to be reflected in the lyrics and in some of the arrangement choices to kind of create a more surreal quality to it. But I think it's a song of disillusion on some level. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a song of loss, uh, but it's also upbeat, it's uplifting on some, on some basis. I think it kind of taps into the, the adventure, the adventurous quality of what we're doing. Toss up between Temptress and Alone, but I think Temptress is my favorite uh, favorite track on the album. It's a song that has a lot to offer to fans of different genres. Uh, it's just something kind of anthemic. Could have been short and sweet. We decided not to do that. You know, I like that.